Hello, it was the morning of February 6, 2016, and I received a vision from Lord Jesus. Please use discernment. The first thing I saw were numbers, and the numbers looked like 22.1, and I'll tell you what I think they were in a minute. But so then after that, I saw fire. I saw flames, just like that. And then afterwards, um, Lord Jesus showed me people that were wearing the chem chemical biohazard gear. And that's this protection stuff where, let's see, you see the face a little better. Okay. You know, like, so, so there's poison in the air and the people want to be safe. And so they wear this kind of protection because it filters out the poison. Okay. And then um, after I saw the one person and then I saw another person, you know, wearing the same chem bio gear um, outfit. But he was sitting on the floor with his back against the wall and his legs extended. He wasn't moving. He may have had a hole in his outfit and the chemicals killed him. Then I saw planet Earth and there was a drawing on it like the Earth was in a huge earthquake and then tons of smoke over one third of the land and it looked like an extreme, uh, large extreme cloud. So when it comes to the drawing, here I'll show you the drawing. This is what I saw. I saw the circle, so I'm assuming this planet Earth, and just the lines going like that. Do, 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 do. Like if you took planet Earth, it would shake, 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 like the whole entire Earth shaking. And so I'm thinking that 22.1 was the Richter scale. Um, that's uh, my interpretation, but when it when I saw the clouds, so here's planet Earth, and the clouds were actually like if you took from this section to this section and covered it up with clouds. That's how huge the clouds were. You know, here's some clouds down here, but those are just normal clouds. This was just like enveloped. You know, that much. You know, just a huge amount, and. So then, as soon as I saw one third of the land, you know, with the clouds, uh, that's where I'm like, uh oh, this could be the passage having to do with wormwood. And so I just ran to the Bible. <laughs> okay, so here, um, it, it's this is long, ch you know, many many verses. So I just cut out, you know, certain ones, you know, just to try to save some time. So here, you know, here I'm going to start reading. Here we go. And so this Revelation chapter 8, starting with verse 5. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. Okay. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. And the seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. So many men died because of the waters, a third part, you know, became poisoned. And here where you see great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp. I believe, you know, our Lord Jesus has given me, sorry, the revelation of what that is. Because back then, when you had a lamp, um, in the olden days with John, this is the lamp that they had. They had an oil lamp. They did not have a general electric light bulb <laughs> burning like it was a lamp. You know, it was a, just a, a regular lamp like this, an oil lamp. And you see the flame, that type of triangular, long extended shape. And what else has triangular, long extended shape fire? Ta-da! Burning as, as it were a lamp. So there are some missiles out there that have that long extended fire that comes out of the back there 
and so he saw a great star from the sky burning as if it were a lamp and so there it is coming down and he may not have known how to describe that or it could have been at night where you don't see that at all you just see something like this you, you just see the fire if it's nighttime and it was wormwood and what does that mean that it was wormwood it could mean that the missile that landed uh, contained chemical warfare and that the poison was made using the plant wormwood where the this plant does have properties that are used in chemical warfare and I have websites that describe this so this is the wormwood plant and it is used to treat um, it, it is used to treat something you know because they do make pills out of this if you go to like Swanson Vitamins they actually sell it you know so they, they sell it there and um, now th this plant though has some little hairs on the plant and the hairs are what's poisonous and the hairs uh, create the the join this is the poison the join and there's also another one I think but so here that's what it looks like so the if you and then I have a uh, websites uh, so this one is the future of chemical weapons and on this one it describes that there's this drug Artem artemisinin and it's a complex molecule that is extracted from the sweet wormwood plant and uh, one of the things that it does is you know it causes convulsions this is you know th this and this uh, in in this document here it says it produces biological toxins sorry here produce biological toxins and this gives lots and lots of information um, like and so because people can use it or companies can use it well we're just making insecticide uh, it's just kind of higher concentration right now but we plan to dilute it you know for pesticides okay you promise you're not going to kill anybody with it cross my heart okay we won't we won't mess with you and and so they'll have tons and tons of this compound but those compounds are acceptable whenever the UN goes around and sees um, do they have any chemical weapons laying around uh, they avoid uh, wormwood they do not consider that a chemical weapon so it's like a loop, little loophole and and therefore it is not checked uh, they don't make them dispose of it so and then this this article here you know, talks about wormwood. So I'll read a little bit about it. Um, okay, it describes, you know, that here this compound, absinthin, found in hairs on the wormwood leaves, and it makes it so that other plants do not grow there. You know, so wherever this chemical is, um, in the dirt, there's no more, nothing else grows there because this is like worse than Roundup <laughs> and it'll just completely kill kill it off 100% okay and then I have uh, some other um, websites that describe chemical warfare and describe wormwood let's see is there anything else uh, that's pretty much it but so ta-da our Lord has shown me what wormwood is or uh, described wormwood oh, sorry wrong file but that is due to chemical weapons and please use discernment and thanks everyone and God bless uh, may, but yeah we all need to repent <laughs> for sure you know the times are coming you know if, if we're getting the description of what wormwood is you know then then this is times are really really short we are at the end times okay thanks everyone and God bless